ever pondered about the silent epidemic that's sweeping across the world? Not a virus, but an emotional state, loneliness. This pervasive issue is affecting individuals from every walk of life, regardless of age, gender, or social status. It's not just about being physically alone. It's a deep-seated feeling of disconnection, of being isolated even in a crowd. And it's taking a toll on our mental health in ways we are only beginning to understand. Loneliness, it's more than just feeling alone. It's feeling disconnected, isolated, and it's affecting our mental health. Meet John. A year ago, John was battling severe loneliness. Today, he's a changed man thanks to proactive measures he took. Like many of us, John's journey started with the acknowledgement of his feelings. He didn't shy away from his loneliness. Instead, he faced it head on, accepting it as a part of his life that needed attention. Then he began to practice self-awareness. He spent time understanding his own needs, desires and triggers. This self-awareness journey was accompanied by self-care. He committed to proper nutrition, regular exercise and adequate sleep understanding that his physical health was intrinsically linked to his emotional well-being. John also recognized the value of social connections. He began to reach out to old friends, make new ones, and even joined community groups that shared his interests. But he didn't limit himself to physical interactions. He embraced technology, using it to form virtual connections that spanned across the globe. When things got tough, John didn't hesitate to seek professional help. He understood that there's no shame in asking for guidance when you're lost. Through it all, John practiced gratitude. He learned to appreciate the little things in life, focusing on the positive aspects rather than dwelling on the negatives. He used his solitude not as a prison, but as a sanctuary for personal growth, a space to learn new skills and explore new passions. John's story is a testament to the fact that overcoming loneliness requires patience, self-compassion and effort. Like John, you too can turn the tide on loneliness. We all experience moments of solitude. It's a part of being human. But remember, it's not about avoiding these feelings. It's about acknowledging them and taking proactive steps. Nourish your mind and body with self-care. Connect with others, build bridges, form friendships. Embrace the technology at your fingertips to reach out, to communicate, to share. If you need to, seek professional help. There's no shame in asking for support. It's a sign of strength, a testament to your resolve to thrive. Practice gratitude, seek out the silver linings. They're there even when the clouds seem impenetrable. Set personal goals and use your solitude for growth. It's an opportunity, a canvas for you to paint your own narrative. Make it vibrant, make it meaningful. Join us on this journey towards a healthier, happier you. Subscribe and share this video with others who might benefit. Remember, you are not alone. Together, we can overcome.